Everybody, this is Mark Maricato, military historical artist. Thank you for joining me once again for another video. In today's video, I'm going to be working on finishing up this painting that I've been working on for the past three years, which is showing the 154th New York Infantry of Charles T. Coster's Brigade of the Union Army 11th Corps engaged in battle on the first day of the Battle of Gettysburg facing off against Harry Hayes's Louisiana Brigade, which you could see coming in on the right-hand side with those red battle flags of the rebellion. So today you're going to see me work on a lot of small details. It's going to be mostly about working on things like muskets, small uniform details, equipment, buttons, musket details, bayonets, swords, you're also going to see me working on changing the eagle finial on the Stars and Stripes national flag where I'm changing the finial of the eagle to one that has the wings less spread out. So watch out for that in the video as well. Now what's interesting about this battle is if you go to this spot today at Gettysburg, it is in the northern part of the town. It's called Coster Avenue. The area does not look the way it does in the painting today. It's all built up. There's a very, very small strip of land where the monument to the 154th New York is and where Coster's Brigade had fought. And during the battle, this, this area looked nothing like it does today. There were basically three houses in the area and there was a post and rail fence that you see the New Yorkers lined up against. And there was also a wheat field beyond the fence and a rise of ground that the Confederates had come up over. So the New Yorkers had just gotten into the position within a few minutes before the Confederates had shown up in front of them and then they started engaging in battle and the entire battle lasted about maybe 10 minutes. If you're a regular visitor to Gettysburg and have not been to this spot yet, or if you've never been to Gettysburg and are planning to go and wanna see a really interesting place, please visit Coster Avenue. It is a very, very fascinating story on the first day of the battle and a very fascinating area. Even though it's surrounded by modern development, the area is very tastefully preserved as much as it can be and still brings home the desperation of what happened here. There's also a very nice mural that artist Mark Dunkelman had made along with another artist on a building that shows what happened there as well. Very, very, very good spot to visit. So yeah, definitely check this place out next time you go to visit Gettysburg because it's really worth it. So folks, if you wouldn't mind leaving a like on the video, consider subscribing to the channel. And also if you would like, leave a comment, I'd be more than happy to answer any questions you may have. Doing so will really help going a long way to helping the channel out. It'll help me to continue to do more of this type of artwork and this type of content for you. So I really appreciate it. Thank you for watching and enjoy. Okay, folks, so I'm going to let the video play out without any narration. If you're interested in finding out some more information about the history of the 154th New York Regiment. I left some links in the description. One of the websites is the Hardtack Regiment website, which is run by historian and author Mark H. Dunkelman. Mr. Dunkelman helped me with the research on this painting, and he is also a fellow artist who, who also worked on the mural on Coster Avenue at Gettysburg and he was a great help with the research of this painting. I'm in deep gratitude and debt to him for his help with this. So definitely check those out. Mark also runs a newsletter for the descendants of the 154th New York. Again, thank you for watching and enjoy.
Alrighty, folks, we've reached the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. Again, if you wouldn't mind, please leaving a like, subscribe to the channel, share the video out, and if you would like, please leave a comment or question in the comment section. I'll be glad to answer your questions if you have any. Here is the final painting. offering this as a limited edition print and also the original painting is available to anybody who is interested in purchasing it just contact me through my website meritado.com thank you and we'll see you in the next one